Hello, Days Are Lost fans. It is finally Friday, July the 12th. Please like, subscribe, and share. Rafe goes to visit Marlena, and he wants her professional opinion. Does she think it's safe for Jada to be alone with Bobby? And he says yes. She says yes. She's seen no sign that he was he would become violent. Well, Gabby's waking up, and she's trying to get jiggy with Stefan. And he half wakes up and, and turns over and goes, uh. And she's like, what's wrong with you? And he said, what's wrong with me? You broke your promise. You blew up EJ's life. And you blew it up in, in public. That's what's wrong with me. You know, they had, he had hoped for peace in the family. And she went and blew all that. She said, you know what? I'm done too. And she gets up. <clears throat> Meanwhile, Ava has stopped over at the mansion because Kristen's having some cleaning done at the office to pick up her papers to go to work for her. And she's like, what are you doing having me come over here? I don't even want to be in this house. You know, Gabby and Stefan live here. I slept with her husband. I don't want to be around her. And she's like, well, just keep your mouth shut. And then Gabby walks in and says, keep your mouth shut about what? You know, somebody just strangle her with her share hair. So uh, Stefan's talking to him, and they're both telling him to chill. And Ava tell him, tells him, just relax, man. I don't want her to know any more about it than you do. And he's looking around to make sure Gabby's not listening. And uh, she's like, you just need to, you know, calm down. There's nothing to worry about. And this is his, I don't trust you look. So, um, <clears throat> Gabby goes to have lunch with Rafe. And he encourages her to get on with her future and forget about ruining EJ's life. Because that's going to get her nowhere fast. Later, Ava runs into Gabby at the pub. And Gabby says, I was wondering if we could work together. You could bring back Gabby Chic. It was a good product line and we could be partners. I doubt Ava's going to do that. Ava's gone back to Everett and said, You told me if I come back, you would give me information on who killed Lee Shin. And he's acting all stupid and shit. And then all of a sudden, he's holding his head down with pain. And he emerges as Everett. I thought all this might have been an act. Just to not have to tell her stuff. She goes and gets Marlena. And Marlena's like, you know, he said, Last thing I remember is you and Stephanie and Dr. Evans in my apartment. What happened after that? So, uh, Marlena says, I don't see any reason he has to stay. He seems fine. It looks like his treatment worked. Well, I thought all this was, again, just, just a fake. So, they're very encouraging to Everett. Uh, Marlena's really excited that he came back. <clears throat> and they're all ready to let him go from the hospital. And there's his face after they leave the room, which leads me to believe, again, that he is up to no good. Jada asks Marlena as they're walking back, she says, do you think, you know, he didn't remember anything of the conversation I had with Bobby? And she said, why would he? Those were Bobby's memories, not Everett's. Well, Lee Shin is stuck being a ghost with psycho bitch. And she's fixing a nice little breakfast. And he says he's not hungry. And she keeps telling him, you know, that it's not her fault he's dead. It's Linda, Melinda Trask and Gabby. And he said, how do you figure that? They didn't put knives in my back. And she said, yes, they did. They broke you and stuff. And they did a little replay back in the head back in her head apparently she showed up months after they had went out and wanted to know if he wanted to go dancing or whatever and he finally ended up having to tell her you know he's not attracted to her he just doesn't want to go she does share with him her little plot to get rid of the commish so everett can keep his mouth shut about her murdering him so everett's free and he's in the hotel room there and he says i hope connie keeps her side of the bargain well sure enough she will and here's Rafe. He's in the cemetery talking to Paulina. We need to get this grave filled in before somebody falls in it. And uh, the next thing you see is a crazy woman toting this knife like she did with Lee Shin. And she goes up behind Rafe and stabs him in the back. We see him go down and we hear him scream. And that is how it went off on Friday. So, um, and then it come back and showed a picture of her looking at him laying on the ground. I wonder if he fell in the grave. That's a wrap. Please subscribe and thank you for watching.